On the evening of February 28th, a hidden Apt ID that appeared in early January and is probably related to CSGO was updated. At the same time, the developers are messing around with a banner on the official Twitter account. At first there was just Counter-Strike, then there was a logo supposedly associated with a new trademark which was registered last year and then the text disappeared. Then it turns out that they also created an official TikTok account and after Aqua posted this on Twitter, the developers responded and over 10,000 people followed it. Why this was done? and what they will post there, I have no idea. At the same time, Nvidia released a new version of the graphics drivers. And turns out this might be directly related to the start of a closed play test for the new version of CSGO outside of Valve's office. Get 5 free bucks for just trading your CSGO items on Skins Monkey. Simply select a few of your current skins, pick a new one in the same price range and trade your old and rusty items to something more new and shiny. If you can't find something suitable for selected price, it will automatically add the leftover to your balance. Skins Monkey runs giveaways every day, week and month. Just complete a few simple tasks and receive free skins. Here you can easily preview desired weapons and if you need any particular item, you can always use the advanced filters in the middle. If you want any trade locked items, you can simply use the reserve feature until they become available. Use code Gaben and buy skins much cheaper with a 30 plus 5% top up bonus. Skins Monkey, links and my code down below. So, in NVIDIA control panel there is a thing called custom profile for applications. Roughly speaking, there you can change settings in some games or programs without even running any executables. What's interesting, by disabling this checkbox you can configure not only applications on your computer, but also all games and programs that are recorded in the NVIDIA database. On February 28th, a new driver 531.18 was released and in the updated database of all existing applications suddenly appeared two new executables, CS2 and CSGO S2. We were honestly surprised a little and began to double check all possible theories. Because we had to be sure that this was not some kind of fake or another troll. We've spent the first 5 hours reinstalling drivers and checking how and when this information even appears. And in the end we found that if you install a previous version of the driver with the removal of all existing files, the references of CS2 and CSGO S2 will completely disappear. So this information is relatively new and appeared somewhere in February. However, there is one problem. Aqua and I started asking everyone we know to check this on their computers. And for some reason, some people, even without updating their driver, had profiles for these executables. And after spending some more time, we found out that if your PC is connected to the internet, Nvidia without your knowledge and permission can download and install some components of the drivers from its servers. And one of these components is a database of all existing applications and their profiles. In other words, it's a so-called backdoor that allows Nvidia to release quick fixes for bugs or exploits on all computers connected to the internet regardless of the installed driver version. This feature became known by accident about a month ago when due to some bug in Discord the performance of your entire PC decreased. Quote from an NVIDIA employee on the official forum. NVIDIA display drivers will automatically download and apply the updated application profile to your PC the next time you log into Windows. NVIDIA GeForce application profiles are a group of software settings used by the NVIDIA graphic drivers to provide optimum performance when using a selected application. But we are just getting started. If you open the NVIDIA Inspector app, you realize that both executables belong to the same Counter-Strike 2 project. What? You ask? Let me explain. Most likely CS2.x is something old left over from the leak in 2014, when the early names of all of the projects for the new engine were leaked. So it was a real project once in development, but since then it was frozen or most likely even cancelled. Profile CSGO S2 is called Counter-Strike 2, I believe because the name of CSGO and Counter-Strike without number 2 are already used for other games and the developers decided to not reinvent the wheel and just added the number. So it won't be a new game or even a rebrand. It will most likely stay Counter-Strike Global Offensive just with like Source 2 update. However, in addition to the control panel, Nvidia has a separate program called GeForce Experience, which as it turns out also downloads some necessary files from the cloud. 
and one of these files is fingerprints.db, which means database. This file contains all of the necessary configs to correctly display and run all existing games and applications directly from GeForce experience. And the existence of CSGO on the new engine can be verified by a simple experiment. Go to the directory with your Steam games and create a new folder with any name next to the original CSGO folder. Create an empty CSGO S2 executable and move the 64-bit DLL library from another game on Source 2, for example from Dota, to this folder. Start scanning for new games in GeForce experience and suddenly a new version of CSGO will show up. It is important to note that if you change the CSGO S2 executable to some other name or delete the 64-bit DLL library from the new engine, the next time you'll scan, new CSGO will just disappear. And now let's take a look at why exactly this is happening. By checking the fingerprints DB file through any text editor reveals that in the NVIDIA database CSGO has three valid versions. Chinese, the version for China, generic, the current public version, and what a surprise, version for Source 2. After a close look, it becomes clear that firstly, there is a check for 64-bit DLL library of Source 2, because CSGO on the first Source engine runs on 32 bits. Secondly, the S2 version will run under the same App ID 730 as the original game. That is, it'll be not a new game in your Steam library, and it'll run by pressing the same button. And thirdly, this version has another important check. If the existence of CSGO S2.x is false, like it's not exists on your PC, then run normal CSGO. Based on all of this, we can conclude that the developers have chosen the same path as Dota Reborn. Instead of a separate game, you'll have downloadable DLC update with Source 2 Beta Branch. And when you launch the game, you'll have to choose which version of it you wanna play. Just a year ago, in a similar way, the database of GeForce Now Cloud Gaming leaked a bunch of unannounced games from AAA Studios. However, the main question is why this NVIDIA application profile appeared just now in public drivers. The only theory that makes sense is the beginning of a closed beta test outside of the company's office. And literally a few days ago, I've got fairly reliable information that Valve has been testing since has gone source 2 with the help of third-party QA companies in the US and Europe since at least early December. And also Richard Lewis kinda confirmed this in his article. So guys, it'll happen literally any day now. It is important to note that today there'll be a big update in Dota 2. Almost all big leaks related to future Valve projects appear in Dota on the new engine, so we are likely to see a lot of new interesting stuff related to CSGO as well. I will cover it live on my Twitter page, so make sure to follow it. Leave a comment with the number 2 if you watched this far and check out my previous video where I explain how I ported CSGO to Source 2 myself using the tools of spiritual successor to Gary's mod. Увидимся!